I've spoken to Talani not once, I've spoken to him a couple of times. Uh, the issue that happened uh, before has been sorted out months and months ago. Um, I've spoken to Talani, he's very happy and excited to, be, to have been called up, and um, he's looking forward to being here. Yeah, look, I think first of all, if you're a coach and you can't handle the pressure, then my strongest recommendation is don't be a coach. <laughs> Because there's always going to be pressure, you know, and you've got to handle it. And sometimes it's, uh, the pressure is, uh, is there and you've got, to, you've got to accept it. You know, it's, it's part of the game and what makes the game what it is. So um, as far as how we get to approach the game, of course, uh, we'll approach it the way we did against Spain. You know, having, the, having the, the, the pleasure and the privilege of playing against a world-class team. And it's going to be a great occasion for the players to rub shoulders with players like Nemo and others. And um, we'll go out there and we'll play the game that we want to play. And we're going to try, if we can, to be offensive, as we were against Spain, and, and, and play our normal game. You know, it's a friendly match. It's a good exercise for both teams, especially for Brazil, I think, because of the fact that it's their second last uh, friendly before they, they actually go into the World Cup. I can't be concerned right now about this, is, this game, or this game means this, or that game means that. You know, as, as uh, was stated very clearly yesterday, I've got a contract until August. That's when my contract expires. And I'm looking beyond that. So, um, you know, you can't look at this game and say, well, you know, I have to win this game or else. I can't think like that. I've got to think positive and I've got to say to myself that we're going out there to enjoy ourselves and it's another game. You know, football's about it. It's a game. It's only a game, you know, and I want the players to go out there, as I said, enjoy themselves and whatever happens on the day. You know, I don't think, I don't think anybody's future can rely on a match, you know, when yesterday was clearly stated the confidence that they've shown in me until my contract expires and whatever happens after that happens. Whatever happens before that happens, who knows? I can't make assumptions and, make us, and assume or think like that at all. It's been a tough 18 months, it has, because of the circumstances coming in at the situation, how it was and so on and so forth. And over a period of this time, we've had a look at a lot of players. And I've got to the stage now where I've got a squad of maybe 30 players. And those 30 players, including the, um, these players are included in that 30 or 32 players that we need to work with going forward now on a continuous basis to become what we want to become. You know, I don't think there will be any more swapping, 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 changing players here and there. We've had a look at a lot of players. We also hope to identify a couple of players that haven't been identified yet. They're going to be coming, coming soon from, you know, from under 17s, under 20s, under 23s when we start our, our master plan and it gets into to running order correctly. So this is where we are right now. This is what I said. It, it's a process. This is certainly not something that could have been done in the first two months of my, of my reign as Bafana Bafana coach. There was a process that had to be gone, had to be done.